Okay, welcome to another podcast. Um, what we're going to look at today is a thing called actions. Uh, actions are something that you would put on an object, um, let's say a graphic you've put onto your page, um, and then when you click on that graphic, something will happen, depending on which action you've chosen to use. So I'm going to show you how to do three different actions today. I'm going to show you how to show and hide something. I'm going to show you how you can use it to open up a web page and then I'm going to show you how you can use it to flip to another page in your presentation. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to show and hide. We're going to, I'm going to use a bit of text. So if I go to the Shapes tool, I'm going to draw a circle on the stage. And that's going to be a button that we can use to show and hide something. And I'm going to put a bit of text on the page as well. So I'm going to set it up so that when I click this button, this text will either be hidden or be shown. It'll be a toggle. So the first thing I need to do is select the circle. And then along here, there's be one called the Action Browser, which is this one here. I click on this. And then I need to choose which action. Now I know this action I'm looking for is called Hidden. So it's in alphabetical order. I can just scroll down to the H's and choose Hidden. And then what I've got to do is down at the bottom here is give it a target because it doesn't know at the minute that it's actually this text that I'm wanting to hide. So I click on the three dots here and it'll give me whatever is on the page. So there's only two things on the page just now. So I can either do it when I click the button, the actual button itself gets hidden, but I actually want it to be this text here and click OK and then click Apply Changes down at the bottom there. So now you'll notice when I hover over the the circle that we've created, the, our little button, you have a little blue play icon as well. And this is to say that there is an action on this object. So when we now click this, the text will disappear. And we click it again, and the text will appear. And so it's just a toggle. So if we were to save our presentation like this, and then open the presentation in the classroom, the text wouldn't be there but when we clicked it, the text would appear. So that's our first action, is how to show and hide something. Okay, what I'll do now is show you how you can do it so that it'll open a website. Now, I'll do it just on the same button. I'll change this so it's no longer the hidden. But if you notice, I can't select this anymore. If I try and select it, all it's going to keep doing is showing and hiding this text. But what I can do is change to design mode because in design mode, actions don't work. And if you remember from a previous podcast, to change to design mode, you go up to this icon here and change that so it's orange. And you'll notice now, I can click on this object and select it. Okay, so to get rid of the action that's currently on there, which is the, the show and hide the text, I can just move down to the bottom here and click remove existing. Okay. When the, when the computer goes to open up a website, it just sees the website as any other file. It's, it's a file as much as a file in your, uh, your account will be, as, as much as a Word document, etc. What I can do here to narrow down our selection of actions, I can use the drop-down list here. And I know that the opening a website is, in, is under Document and Media Actions. So I can click on this one and you've got a couple there. You've either got to open a document, file or sound, or you've got to open a website. So we want to open a website. And then all we need to do is put the URL into here. So I'll put the URL in for my blog. And then you just click Apply Changes. OK. You notice if we select, we click on that now. The action isn't working. It's because we're still in design mode, so we need to go back up and change into presentation mode. And if we hover over now, there's an action on this again. So if we click that, Internet Explorer will open, and it will open up the web page that we've selected. Okay, so we've looked at show and hide text. We've looked at how to open up a website. 
and you'll you'll notice if you've got this as an icon or you could have a graphic or anything like this it's so much quicker just clicking on that button um, rather than going to Internet Explorer, going to Google, finding your website or typing in the URL etc. You can have it just all set up so your presentation really flows well. Um, what I'm going to do now is show you how we can use an action to go to a different page in our presentation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some text in so I can show you the page numbers. So we've got page uh, 2 there, and we've got the next page, page 3, page 4, page 5. OK, if we go to our page browser down the left here, you can see we've got our first page, which is the one we've been working on, and we've got page 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I'm going to say that when we click on here, on this circle, it's going to take me to page 4 in our presentation. So I need to go back to design mode, so I can select the circle, go to our Actions browser because I need to remove the current action that's on there which is opening up the web page so I need to go down the bottom again and click on Remove Existing and then what I want to do is click the drop down list again and go, it's a page action because I'm moving to a different page in our presentation and so this gives us all these possible actions to do with pages um, and what I want to do is another page. So it's basically when I click on this, it's going to go to another page in my presentation. You can have it so it goes to the first page or the last page or the next page or the previous page. Um, but what I want to do is, is none of those. I want to go to page four. So I've selected that and you see down the bottom here, it then asks what page number. So I'll then choose page four and I'll click apply changes. Again, I need to go back to presentation mode so that my action will work. I'll hover over, you get the blue um, play button again, which means that there's an action there. So when I click on this, it's taking me through to page four. And if you go to our page browser, you can see we're now on page four. And you can see us, you can see the jump if when you click on there, the jump straight to there. You may be wondering why you want to do that, why you'd want to jump pages in your presentation. So what I'll do, I'll show you one of the presentations that I use for teaching Active Studio, which is the previous version of Active Inspire. Um, what I would have is on this sheet, um, I think it's saying how ILT literate you say you are. And then I'd get the people to have a vote using the active votes. And you'll notice on each of these, I have an action. And depending on what level they say they're at, it will take me to a different page in my presentation. And so by using actions and using jumping to another page, you're immediately differentiating. And so you'll notice if we scroll down here, we've got three different tasks, depending on how ILT literate they say they are. If they're advanced, they've got to do more tools than they would have to do if they're beginners, where they only have to do one tool, and so on. And so I've got quite a large presentation, but depending on which strand they choose to go down, I don't use nearly half the pages in that presentation. So that's how to, that's how to do actions. Have an investigation of them because there's an awful lot of them and there's an awful lot you can do with them. Um, today we've looked at how you can show and hide text, how you can open a website, um, and how you can jump to different pages in your presentation.